All right, welcome to podcast number 33. Uh, Once again, I appreciate everybody taking the time to uh, listen to these. And if you're tuning in, well, that's pretty telling that you uh, at least want to think about your writing or or, um, at least want to make your writing better. So I very much appreciate that. Appreciate the people that uh, have written in. Appreciate the the donations and also the um, the ratings on um, iTunes and SoundCloud. Thank you very much. Keeps my keeps that little extra motivation uh, for me to keep continuing uh, these wonderful podcasts and going through my my ever expanding list of them. So, all right, here we go. No bullshit. Uh, no intro music. No sponsors. Let's just get into it. So, this topic is it break through the corners or throttle through the corners. Where this came from is I I did have, um, I've had a few people write in about this and had it on the back burner a little bit. And then somebody else asked me um, a question about it and and more, they asked me a question on on sort of um, uh, how how it was taught. And and as I explained to him how how, um, it was explained to him, which was for a, a simple 90 degree corner, um, when the question was asked, is, well, is every corner a 90 degree corner? Then the answer, of course, is no. And then the, the conversation went from there. So is it break through the corners or is it throttle through the corners? Well, guess what? It's both. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Um, have a, everybody have a great day. No. So so le- we're going to spend a bunch of time on this and we're really going to break it down because what this is, is this is part of, of being an adjustable rider. This is part of being... Um, being able to change for your environment, whether it's a 90 degree corner, a 30 degree corner, a 170 degree corner, whether you're on a goal wing or a, or a whatever, a new R1, doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter if you just started riding, doesn't matter if you're in the World Championship Series, it does not matter, right? It's the same technique, just a different degree of application. And we want to be able to adjust for all of these upcoming situations. We want to be able to take advantage of all these upcoming situations. So, Having a blanket rule of I always break through the corner or a blanket rule of I always throttle through the corner, no, it, it, that doesn't work that way, right? We want something that as our speed picks up, our risk factor picks up, we're, we're, we have something that changes for that. So let's back up a little bit and um, let's understand what each control does and, and why and, and why this, this either does work or does not work. So the way this controls is let's just take a a random corner and let's just pick a, we'll just pick some sort of a corner. And if we go through this random corner and we're in the corner and we're maintaining a certain lean angle, right? So you're in the corner, you're at a certain lean angle. If you go to add positive throttle, right? So in other words, you're, you now have, you're, you're adding acceleration, if you maintain the same lean angle, your radius is going to open up. Done. That's it. Simple. It's 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 just that's just how it works. So, if you want to maintain maintain the same radius and you're adding positive throttle, you're you're going to have to add more lean angle. That's how it works. So, that's not going to get better. And You can say, well, gosh, you know, at the speed I'm going, it's not a big deal. I got grippy tires. That's great. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It works until it doesn't work. Again, I want something that's going to add, add, add adjustability to my circumstances. And as I go quicker, allow me to mitigate my risk. That's not mitigating my risk. That's adding to my risk. So if you're going to add positive throttle and maintain lean angle, well, that's not going to work. So there's things that you can do, right? You can have more body position or things like that. But again, let's see where we're, how realistic that is in, in, in each one of these environments that we're going to talk about. So the next one is deceleration. <clears throat> so if you decelerate in a corner, and I use the word decelerate instead of brakes, because you can roll off the throttle as well. Same, another form of deceleration. And street riders, we do a lot of deceleration. That's just the reality of it. So in a corner, if you decelerate, maintaining the same lean angle, your radius tightens up. Done. That's it. Don't have to don't have to overthink it, right? Don't, so don't don't overthink it. The idea though is, start looking at your corners. Start looking to see what they have to offer. 
corners that are less than 90 degrees, you can typically get 90 degrees or less, you can typically get away with throttling through the corners because the radius isn't that big. You can get away with it. But what if it's a 180 degree corner? What if it's a 210 degree corner? What if it's a 110 degree corner? What, right? What is it? What, what if it's that? Well, that's not going to get better. So we need, we need some, some certain um, thoughts or we need some certain techniques to be able to, to mitigate those things. So <clears throat> one couple, let's, let's, let's go back and think about, I want to have the ability to adjust, right? So let's take street riders. We'll, we'll start with the street, we'll move to the track, and then we'll kind of look at the very sharp end of our sport, um, which is uh, professional racing. So on the street, there's some factors that I certainly look at when I ride. And, and the, the overall factor that, that works into to, to, um, uh, my order of the sport, this order of the sport that we want to talk about is bike placement, right? So I want to be in a position to take away lean angle at any, any time that I can or any time that I need to. So however I use the brakes, how I place the bike in the corner is all having that bike placement of where I can take away lean angle if I need to, if I need to, right? So let's, let's think about that. On the street, everything is trying to kill me. That's my thought, right? So I want to be in a position to, to mitigate that if at all possible. So <clears throat> with, with throttling through the corners, I, and again, it's funny, I watched Valentino Rossi's um, um, lap today um, from Otegi. And if you watch Rossi, he certainly is doing the same thing, right? He's not accelerating until he can take away some lean angle, right? If you we can't just maintain crazy lean angle and try to accelerate because the tire just won't take it. So watch Rossi ride, certainly saw that as well. I don't care if it's the street, track, whatever it is. My, my exit, my exit plan is I'm not going to accelerate until I can see my exit and take away lean angle. There you go. So we'll talk about how neutral throttle works in just a second. On the street, if I'm going to use my brakes on the street, I'm going to tip in with them. There's a lot of corners I don't use the brakes for, right? We're not going fast enough, and you know what? That's okay, too. So if you're not going to use the brakes, you can roll through the corner, but guess what? I'm going to wait to accelerate until I can see my exit and take away lean angle. <laughs> there, there it is. Now neutral throttle, right? So we talked about deceleration. We talked about acceleration. At the same lean angle... If I pick the throttle up to maintain my speed, my radius stays the same, my lean angle stays the same. That's okay. There's corners that that's going to happen, right? Your speed's not high enough, the grip's not high enough, you're not used to the road, whatever it is, that's okay. But I'm not going to accelerate till I can see the exit and take away lean angle. So, right there, that, that, that gets us through that part of it. With the brakes part, so now, if I use the brakes on the street, I'm going to turn in with them because I've built up enough speed. The radius of the corner is tight enough, but I'll stay with the brakes until I get the speed and direction I want. It might, it might be just after tip in. That's the speed and direction I want. It may be later in the corner, depending on the radius. That's the, that's the beauty, right? You use the brakes till you have the speed and direction that you want. If you're off the brake, then now you don't have the ability to adjust. So yeah, you, Working, working that angle of it, a lot of it just depends on what the radius of the corner is. Out on the street, riding down the road 50 miles an hour, you come up on a 20 mile an hour corner, and you'll use the brakes, turn in with them, and use them until you have the speed and direction if you want. So a great example of, yeah, you, you, right? You'll use the brakes through the corner if you need to. Same thing, now you go into the corner and it's um, and you're only going 30 miles an hour and it's at whatever, 15 or 20 mile an hour corner, you're not going quick enough. And you can you can be on the throttle, but you gotta wait until you can see your exit and take away lean angle before you can accelerate. So thinking about it that way, it depends on what the corner offers. It depends on what your speed is. Thinking about it that way. Track riders, now we wanna start being more efficient. We wanna bring our speed up. It starts to matter more. So on the, on the, on the uh, track, it's the same thing. Our exits, we, we're not going to be able to accelerate until we see our exit take away lean angle, right? Till we have exit direction, till we're at the slowest part of, point of the corner, right? You remember all those, those podcasts. So thinking about it that way, that's how our acceleration works. 
braking, right? We're going to use the brakes. We use the brakes at the point of where the most efficient place to let off the brakes. Big entry corners, it's to or past the apex. Big exit corners, we'll still, still turn in and use the brakes, but the slowest point becomes before the apex and we accelerate off, right? So there's no magic. There's no real magic to this. And then, of course, at the sharp end of our sport, the more precise it gets, the faster you go, the bigger deal that this becomes, right? The overlap between where you let off the brakes, the overlap of how you get on the throttle all becomes narrower and narrower and narrower and more precise and more subtle. So brake through the corners or throttle through the corners. Again, not a very difficult subject. It depends on the corner, right? Depends on the corner, depends on your speed. You use the brakes till you get happy with your speed and direction. Use the throttle. The way to use the throttle till you, you have the um, exit that you want. You've got exit direction. You can see your exit and take away lean angle. So this, this will sort of myth bust a little bit of all those different things. If you're going through corners thinking you're going to throttle through them, that's great. Your speed may not, be high enough, may not be high enough. Your grip, right? You may have plenty of grip, but it's not going to get better. You break all the way through the corners, again, not the most efficient way to do it because now you're sacrificing your exit as well. We're going to take advantage of what each corner has to offer. We're going to use both controls to get the results that we need. That's the whole, that's the whole idea is being able to adjust for each one of these situations. So I know I said it about 43 times. I'll say it again. Break through the corners or throttle through the corners. It's both. It's dependent on your situation, depending on the corner radius, depending on your speed. If you're going to use your brakes, turn in with them. Allow yourself something to adjust. Stay with neutral throttle, right? Stay with neutral throttle until you can see your exit take away lean angle. Realize in very, very short corners, 60 degree corner, you're not going to be at neutral throttle very long. 210 degree corner, you're going to be at neutral throttle a long time. That's how it works. So if you try to if you try to add that acceleration through there, it'd be very, very difficult. If you try to use your brakes all the way through there, you'd completely overslow. So all right. A little bit of myth busting on this one. Um, thinking about how you can be an adjustable rider for different situations, thinking about how you can you can be more efficient with your riding and give that pathway to getting better.